my goodness, hello, my young friends. I'm so sorry, I must have fallen asleep. Do you sleep? Of course you do, we all sleep. Most of us sleep at night, but some people who have to work at night sleep during the day. Some people like to take little naps during the day, and that's okay. There are some people who may take little naps at church. Now, we don't know who they are, but Pastor Patricia knows who they are. Anyway, let's talk about animals and how they sleep. Did you know that a horse can sleep standing up? A horse's knees lock, and that means its legs won't bend and it won't fall, so it can sleep standing up. Do you know what animal sleeps the most of all the animals? The koala, native to Australia. They sleep 22 hours a day. What a life. Now, do you know what animal sleeps the least? It's very tall, has a long neck, and you've probably seen one at the zoo. That's right, it's the giraffe. They only sleep two hours a night. I know giraffes are tired sometimes. Anyway, I was looking through my Bible the other day, my big Bible, and I was looking for verses about sleep. <clears throat> Excuse me, and there are some. There's one in the book of Psalms, which is in the Old Testament, and it said that God watches our comings and our goings. He watches us when we are awake and we are asleep. God never sleeps. He always is watching out for us. I don't know about you, boys and girls, but that makes me feel pretty good to know that I can sleep and that I am safe and secure because God is always watching over me and you and everyone. He's God. He doesn't need to sleep. He's a cool guy. That makes me feel really good. Anyway, what I also want to tell you is remember way back in December before Christmas when I told you I was going to be a grandmother. Well, I am. I have a beautiful little grandson. He's very sweet. And his mother and father say a prayer with him every night before he goes to bed. Now, he is too young to say the prayer, but they say it for him. And it goes like this. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. May angels watch me through the night and wake me with the morning light. That's a cool prayer because you know that angels are watching you when you sleep and God is watching you when you sleep so you can feel safe. Let's say a prayer and thank God for that. Bow your heads and say it with me. Dear God, thank you for watching over us when we are awake and especially when we are asleep. Thank you for keeping us safe. We love you. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you have a good week. Remember to stay safe and healthy and enjoy your families and get plenty of sleep and rest. I'll see you soon.